My name is Drew T and I'm a sophomore. My name is Brent and I'm a sophomore. My name is Jennifer and I'm a freshman. Idea um, to do something and to give back to Ukraine and we thought a clothing drive would be like the best idea because from what we've seen on like social media or online a lot of people are struggling without those like hygiene products or with like lack of warmth so we thought the school and especially through 4-H since it focuses like not just like environmentally but so many other aspects would be like the perfect way to do it and luckily Brent's mom had the connection yeah, so like Trudy said, we started with the clothing drive. That was also when we happened to uh, make the first video. Um, now we've, we've transitioned to a hygiene product only drive because the shipping costs are, um, they're a little bit too high for um, all the clothing that we've been receiving. So we already donated four boxes of clothing and we're going, we're estimating about another eight boxes of uh, solely hygiene products. And yeah, so everything is gonna be going to Grace Church in South River and from there it's being transported to Germany and then from there they're like underground volunteers who are also going to ship it out to like Poland and like uh, parts of Ukraine. Like my church has been um, donating to so many different cult countries around the world. Like in Christmas we do something called Operation Christmas Child where like each like child would go out and like buy stuff and would put it in a box and we would like deliver it to those who are less fortunate. Also we have a food drive so like I thought this was like a really good opportunity because everyone was really generous and willing to just give and serve. So um, I asked like the priests at my church of, like if I could do this through my school and they were very supportive. And once they sent off the message, I got like so many different messages about like um, people that want to donate, like so many different things like clothing, hygiene stuff, medical stuff. And um, constantly we've been going to church and back like with carpool. We've do donated, like, with the shipment we're sending out right now, like, 16 of those, like, extra large boxes. Animated, I guess, by it, because I have, like, a passion for all, all like, types of, like, topics that it covers, like, mm -hmm. about the animals and just helping other people in general. Yeah. And when this, the whole, like, situation with Ukraine came about, I mean, I just thought of 4-H, I was like, this has to be one of the best ways to run it through, and like, to send help there. And luckily the 4-H at Allied is super welcoming and they make the whole like project process really easy. Um, both the officers and Ms. D and Ms. Pittman mm -hmm. have been really like gracious and kind of just let us do whatever we feel necessary. And I know like some other clubs that might be that might have like a little bit more of like a diff difficult process or a different process and we thought this would work best for us. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we definitely want people to know that obviously 4-H is um, a great club to be in. If anyone's ever thinking of joining, it's definitely the way to go. If you want to help people or do anything like that in that sort of field. And as for the project, like ourselves, all three of us, I mean, we're just fo mainly focused on obviously helping Ukraine. We send our like warmest regards out to everyone there, everyone who's going through a hard time. So, yeah. uh, we're really grateful for everyone that's donated, especially um, your church, and <laughs> thank you so much for helping out. And um, we also like through this process have kind of been a little bit more comfortable with like starting um, a fundraiser or like doing a project and just to not shy away because we didn't realize this was going to like have these many donations we filled up a few boxes and we were like oh this is great but like if you really put in the effort then you'll get the fruits out of it and um, you never know what's going to happen so it's really important to just give your shot and try.